at the end of this video you will know how to make an app that can send n number of whatsapp messages automatically keep watching hey guys i am shubham and welcome back to my series making app that automate things in this video i'll show you how to send whatsapp messages automatically through an android app afterwards i'll discuss about sending each word in the sentence separately as a whatsapp message so let's get started so now to send messages using whatsapp the first task is to send intent to whatsapp with a contact number and text message so that whatsapp will search that contact number and write our message in the message box but problem is that whatsapp don't really send that message to recipient itself we need to click on that send button manually for that what we will use is the accessibility service accessibility service is for disabled people so that they can perform their day to day task easily but here we will use it for automation purpose now let's see how we will do that programmatically in the last videos of this series we created app until this we ask user permissions after that we use multi contact picker to choose for multiple contacts and then finally we use our service to send message and in the service we use sms manager to send multiple smss and yeah we created that ui too and now in this video we'll see how to use that send whatsapp sms button so the first thing that is required is to create whatsapp accessibility service so for that just right click on your package name and then new and then java class then give here any name you want so i give whatsapp accessibility service so i just use whatsapp everywhere because i don't want any kind of naming conflict so you can use any name you want then we will extend this class to accessibility service and then just alter enter so that all the methods will be implemented then in on accessibility event we will check if root active window is null or not if it is null then we will just return and if it is not null then we will get all root node information in this root node info object then from root node info we will get edit text of whatsapp where we write a message so for that we will just write root node info dot find accessibility node info by view id and then we will write id there so just write id as it is com dot whatsapp id slash entry and then we will check if it is null or not if it is null that means we are not on whatsapp we are on some other application and then we will just return then finally we will get text from that edit text and check if it is null or it is filled with some message and if it is filled with the message then we will check if it is sent from our app or some other app to check if it is sent from our app we will just add some suffix to the message that we sent through our app so that we will know if that message is sent through our app or some other app so for this tutorial i'll use triple spaces as a suffix so you can use any suffix you want like you can uh, give your app name in the suffix or uh, your name or anything so uh, but i'll use your uh, triple spaces because it looks great and user won't know if there is any kind of suffix added to uh, the string or not
so we can check our suffix like that message field get text to string end suite and then triple spaces if the message is null or length is zero or it is not ending with our suffix then we will just return now it's time to get that button because our main task is to click on that button right So we'll just copy paste above code like it is the same we just have to change view id we'll change the name of that variable to send message node list then we will get the first item in the list which is the button so so that our accessibility service should click on that button but for that we will check if our button is visible to the user or not because uh, you know that send button do two tasks like uh, there is mic also and send button also we will check if that button is visible or not if it is not visible then we will just return on and if it is visible then we will perform the click action so it's very easy just write send message dot perform action accessibility node info action click now as we have sent our message our task is done then we need to return to our application so that we can send next message so for that we need to uh, click back twice we can do that programmatically just a single line of code so just write try catch because if any exception happen then app won't cr get crashed yeah the thread dot slip we used here because some devices do not do not support instant back press so for that we will slip our thread for 2 seconds and then we will click on back button I just gave you a delay of 2 seconds you can give how much delay you want there is no restrictions but note that if it is uh, too fast then some devices do not support it now let's get back to our my sms service and then we will just copy our last handle action sms method and paste in handle as handle action whatsapp method yeah just we need to do some minor changes like we need to change the name of parameters we will just copy it from sms method that will just save our time like that so just we will declare package manager So that we can check if the whatsapp is installed in that user's device or it is not installed then let's get our mobile number in some variable yes to send whatsapp 
intent we need to we need a url to a whatsapp api so please note the url okay i'll just give that url in description so you don't have to remember that or you don't have to type it manually you can just copy paste because if you mistake in writing that url then our app won't work so we need to send two parameters in this url first is number and second is text message and we need to encode our text message using url encoder Now let's declare our intent. Intent dot action view. After that, we set package name, which is com dot whatsapp. We will set the data as the URL. We need to pass it into URL because that method takes URL. And just finally, we will add a new flag that is flag activity new task because we are giving this intent from the service not from the activity then we will check if whatsapp is installed or not like whatsapp intent dot resolve activity package manager then if it is not null then we will call start activity method to send intent to whatsapp and the important thing we need to call sleep here also because if we don't call then it will be too fast and like you know if your device is not that capable then it will directly crash so we need to give their sleep so that it will wait for some time and then send second intent afterwards and then we will just call our broadcast manager so that we will get notified that our process is working yes we yes i just write what everywhere we need to write whatsapp everywhere because that url and package name should be whatsapp not whatsapp we will just increase our delay to 10 seconds because i tested it on 5 seconds and then it was not working working properly so we will use that 10 seconds so now just open your manifest and then declare our accessibility service over there write their name that is dot whatsapp accessibility service write their label you can write any label you want i will write my whatsapp accessibility and then we need to ask user permission i mean it will not really ask user the permission but we need to declare permission over there that is bind accessibility service After that we need to write their metadata which is basically the meta information of the service. Now 
which will also have a name that is android dot accessibility service after that the resource we need to give the resource which will contain all the metadata information i'll just give the file name whatsapp service you can give anything you want we will create that xml file afterwards first we will write intent filter over there which will also have a name and name will be exactly same like android.accessibility service dot accessibility service okay now we are done click on that whatsapp service and alter enter over there and then create a new xml file in this file we will write root tag as accessibility service and then xmlns that is same everywhere apk resource android and into it we will write accessibility event types that is type window state change after that package name which will be com.whatsapp after that accessibility feedback which will be generic type generic is the default type and then notification timeout if we are sending any notification this will be useful here we are not using any notification but we will still mention it there after that can retry window content this tag is true if we are we if we want to retrieve any content in the window as we are retrieving messages from the window so we will just write that true now go to our main activity in this main activity we will check if our accessibility service is running or not if our accessibility service is not running then we need to start it so to check our accessibility service is running or not we will use a method called is accessibility on i'll share the code of that method in the description below yeah i will obviously make new video on that method which will explain you how we will detect if that accessibility service is on or not but for time sake i will not explain it in this video so if our accessibility service is not running already then we will send intent to setting dot action accessibility settings and then we will add flag of new task and then we will just our start the activity so this will basically send user to our settings where user can start our accessibility service manually so there is no any way so that uh, it, the accessibility service can be started automatically using our programming but user have to click it manually yes now copy the code in button sms on click listener and paste in whatsapp send whatsapp message button we will just change method their start action sms to start action whatsapp then run our project let's see the output our app sent us to the setting to turn on accessibility service so we will just turn my whatsapp accessibility service go back to our application now we will write some message there this is test message we will choose contact we will write count there like 10 and let's check if it sends or not yes it's sending it's working 
perfectly fine. It sent first SMS, then clicked back button twice and sending second one. Let's see, does it send 10 messages or not? Yes, it does send 10 messages. Now our next task as we planned is to send each word in the sentence separately. Okay, so for that because this will make it very much interesting. Okay, so we will open our my SMS service. Or there we will we will write each statement where we will check if it is each word if it is true then we will perform some task and then if it is not send each word then we will do some other task okay so let's just copy paste whatever we wrote there paste same in if as well as in else so if you want to send each word separately then we need to split our sentence by space so we will write a string message which will be the array of words so string array words equals to message dot split by space by space okay now we have array of words now we will write for loop there so that all the words in the array will be sent one by one so for loop int k equals to zero k is less than the size of array words and then increment of k we directly write our word in url encoder where we have write where we have written message so that's it we just have to increase one more variable one more parameter the method which is each word and then we will just increase that extra parameter everywhere above like in our handle action method We will increase one more parameter is each word there too. Then we will get the intent boolean intent. Yes, there is no array. We just have to write get boolean extra. And one more then just write default value as a false now we need to add one extra parameter in start action whatsapp method so we will just write there put intended put extra is each word and here we will create one more argument boolean is each word that's it Now in our main activity we just have to send one more parameter over there. Like in our normal button we will send is each word as a false. To send each word separately we will create one more extra button over there. Okay. 
now define that button in our main activity. We will name that button as button WhatsApp each word and then find view by ID. Just alter and that will create one extra field in our main activity. Okay, now we need to just add their on click listener. We will just copy paste button WhatsApp on click listener down below and just write true as a last parameter. Let's run and check if it is working. Yes, it's asking us the permission to allow our accessibility service. Okay, now we will write some message over there. You are awesome. Let's select some contact over there. Let's click on the button and check if it is working. Yes, first first message sent it came back now second message and the last one oh great it's working very fine so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video very much do like and share this video if you want more this kind of content then do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that whenever i upload new video you will be get notified happy coding meet you all in the next video